welcome back to my channel. It's Monday morning and this week I am determined to get my shit together in terms of uni work because as you might have seen from the last few vlogs that I filmed, I haven't really been doing that much uni work. I've been prioritizing other things and especially because the weather has been so good here recently, I've been out a lot more, I've been social a lot more, which is obviously great. That is also what my study abroad year is all about but it is coming up to that point in the term where I've got an exam in two weeks time then a few weeks after that I've got an assignment so I really need to focus a little bit more on my studies so I thought I'd take you guys along on the journey because the next few days or so I am gonna really try and catch up on a lot of things and yeah just sort myself out. <laughs> the clips that you saw before this were me just catching up on some lecture notes from a lecture that I missed last week and the reason that I was doing those literally like first thing in the morning is because I have another lecture for that same class in a few hours time. I actually finished those notes a lot quicker than I thought I would though so I think because I've still got an hour or so before I need to leave for my class I'm gonna try and squeeze in some of these video lectures that I need to watch for my marketing module. We know consumer behavior is prevalent and entails many actions. So this is what I've been using this semester to keep on top of all of my classes. I mean, I say keep on top, but this pretty much shows how not on top of things I am. But this is a table on Notion and at the top, I've just put my four different classes. This one hasn't started yet, hence why there's nothing in this column. But for my other three, I've then created a kind of to-do list for everything that I need to do each week for that class. And as you can see, they do vary. For some of them, I only have one lecture and reading. For some of them, I have two lectures and reading. My marketing one, I've got a whole variety of things that I need to do depending on if I've had an exercise class that week or not. As far as I know, you can't actually put the checklist function into a table in Notion yet, which is kind of annoying. So I'm just making do with these brackets and the line in between when I've obviously completed something and I feel like that works just as well. just got back from my class and it honestly feels like it should be the end of the day now. Because the classes are so long here, like the one that I just had was two and a half hours long, they feel like they take up the entire day and they really do drain my energy. But anyway, my plan for the rest of the afternoon now is I've got a meeting at three, which I'm very excited about. It's gonna be interesting to see what comes of it. And then I've got a Hatha yoga class at five, which I'm very excited for because I haven't really been to yoga in the past few weeks. It's currently quarter past seven in the morning and I'm just getting ready to go to my 8 a.m. lecture. Can we just appreciate how light it is at quarter past seven? This makes me so happy because only a few months ago, I was cycling to my lectures in pitch black. So this makes such a difference to my energy levels in the morning and my motivation to go to the 8 a.m. classes. So the class is two and a half hours long and I think afterwards I'm 
gonna make myself a packed lunch to bring and then sit in the library for a few hours. I've got another call this afternoon at three, so I'm gonna have to come back for that. But I feel like, obviously, minus lunch, that will be a good few hours of work in the library today, hopefully. <laughs> group project call this morning. Every week in my marketing class, we have to submit these mini assignments and we have to do them in our group. And even though they're not compulsory, they're really annoyingly difficult and technical and actually require quite a lot of work on a weekly basis. So it literally took us like an hour and a half to plan out a questionnaire. We haven't even actually made it yet and it's due Friday, but I'm about to cycle and meet my friend Rory at a coffee shop. So I might be able to do a little bit of reading this afternoon, but realistically, we're probably just gonna chat for the whole afternoon. <laughs> 